What happens if the judge gives the jury the wrong legal instructions and now we get a decision that is totally out of whack? Would you like to learn what happens? Come join me as I share with you this great information. Hi, I'm Jerry Odinsky. I'm a New York medical malpractice and personal injury trial attorney practicing law here in the state of New York. At the end of a trial involving a medical malpractice case, an accident case, or even a wrongful death case, the judge will give the jury specific legal instructions that the jury must follow. The jury must determine what the facts are and who's right and who's wrong. Now, at the end of the case, before the judge gives the jury the instructions, he will have a conference with the attorneys behind closed doors. And there will be a court reporter there. And basically, the judge will tell the attorneys what specific areas of law he is going to instruct them on. Each attorney may have specific objections or requests. It's known as request to charge. And why is that done? Because the judge will then consider whether or not to give the jury specific instructions requested by one or both attorneys. If the judge refuses to give certain instructions that one attorney believes should be given, and now the case is lost for their side, then the attorney may have the ability to appeal the case on the issue of whether or not the judge should have properly instructed the jury by telling them about this particular provision. On the other hand, if the judge gives the jury instructions that one attorney clearly says that they objected to and should not have been given, again, that will raise what's known as an appealable issue so that if the losing party decides to appeal the case, they now look back to see what law was given to the jury. And if one or both attorneys raised objections about specific areas of law that the judge was instructing the jury on, and the judge overruled them, decided, you know what, I disagree with you, counselor, I'm going to tell the jury this instruction. In that instance, that may be considered an appealable issue. So why do I share this great information with you? I share it with you just to give you an insight and an understanding into what goes on in the litigation process here in the state of New York. You know, chances are you have your own questions and concerns about your own matter. And if your matter happened here in New York and you do have legal questions, what I encourage you to do is pick up the phone and call me. I can answer your legal questions. I answer questions like yours every single day and I welcome your call. You can reach me at 516-487-8207 or by email at lawmed10 at yahoo.com. I'm Jerry Ojinski here in New York. Have a wonderful day.